Once the flames were out on Kangaroo Island, priorities turned to getting essential services like power restored. With the help of new technology, it's a process that took days rather than weeks. We were able to carry cable in an area where trucks were unable to get access to. Enervan started using drones six or seven years ago after employee Marchin Ball suggested his hobby could have practical applications. I kind of got the gig to trial drones within the, the power line industry and uh, before we know it we've now got a fleet of six drones and six pilots. At first the drones were used for surveying lines, a safer and faster option than climbing poles or cranes. Now the company has modified a large drone known as a hexacopter to string lines in difficult to reach areas. Landowners love it because you're not having to plough large trucks through their paddocks um, and overall the whole experience is a lot more efficient. About 700 Kangaroo Island properties lost power as a result of the fire. Restoring power quickly has played an important part in providing some sense of normality. We know that people in the bushfire affected communities are doing it really tough and that the coronavirus epidemic has certainly escalated some of those feelings um, of distress and concern. Robin Green says despite the extra difficulties, bushfire relief centres remain open and the recovery efforts are continuing. Leah McLennan, ABC News, Adelaide.